You're the one that's being oh. disrespectful. Yeah, you joined the first one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting into round number one here of Winner's Quarters, Utah versus Bellsworth 46, Lucario versus Pikachu Libre. All right, so Storm, Utah going his tried and true, not so tried and true, Libre. All right, um, let's see who has the bigger balls to that. Now, Utah never beating uh, Bellsworth with a character that isn't Guard of War. I think he's just trying to prove something right now. Yeah, Already. If he, yeah, if he loses, that means he's dead. <laughs> he should just surrender. <laughs> He'll surrender. Okay. Alright, so a lot of damage already coming out from Utah. He does have burst and he does have that increased electro web. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Nice job from yeah. Bellsworth. That was also yeah. some big damage. Uh. Oh! There we go. Bellsworth finally starting to incorporate his support a little bit more. He's been really neglectful a lot of these past times. But man, empowered grab takes the takes round number one. Salty. Finally, he's here. Salty, you're my round one. All right, so Bellsworth starting off pretty nicely here, getting quite a bit of chunks of damage off. Doing a nice job getting oh. that bone rush, stopping a little bit of those forward somersaults coming out from Utah. Storm, talk to me, man. Help me out. Or just stand there. That's cool, too. <laughs> no, I'm trying to, like, figure out that move. I know. Bone rush? No, not that. Like, make nice moves. I flying press. I think that's what it is. No. I'm pretty sure it's called flying press. Double team. That's what it is. Oh, I see. So, already. He's using a lot of double teams. Oh, oh, what? That was like, yeah, he could have gone right. Empowered's coming out here. Bellsworth may have to use his burst. He will wake up burst here. Pretty smart option, I think. Um, and, you know, using that EV support right now would probably be a better bet, but he still hasn't used it. Bellsworth, that very, was, very stingy. That would have been, been a good situation. I agree. And, you know, that's like, the after, thing. After you thought you used his if you have that type of support, you should be all right, double burst coming up from both of them here. 2Y into Bone Rush. He gets the grab. And that's going to tie it up on the rounds. Nice job from Bellsworth. Still very stingy with his support, though. I think he could have killed him a lot easier if he had... I think the way he was playing it, he was just playing very patient. I don't think it's just much of a I just think he's playing very patient so that he has a good advantage. Ooh, nice little tick grab there. For Utah, he's playing a little bit reckless. Uh, you know, I think he, he is trying to be a little bit more aggressive than, you know, normal here. Um, and that's kind of costing him. You can already see half his life has already been taken away from Bellsworth. Um, but at the same time, you know, Bellsworth can play a little bit too patiently sometimes, and that opens up for those grabs and those speed debuffs. Yeah. Now uh, he, he has the speed debuff, he's not good for Sicario. So Sicario with that speed debuff makes it even harder. True enough. He does have that EV support though, which is going to help him a lot here. Bone Rush from that is going to be excellent, excellent damage. The burst is definitely going to come out here from both players. The question becomes, how long are they going to try and stall it out here? All, all Bellsworth really has to do here is wait out Utah's burst. It's not going to take him very long. And it's already running out here. Utah doing that. Um, oh, try to grab. Oh, that's going to hurt a lot. Massive damage coming out. Only about 25% health left onto Bellsworth. He will have to play careful as Burst is down for both players. And the buffs are on for Utah right now. Oh, man. Oh. Could this be it? Oh, 7 HP left. Actually, 1 HP. Oh. Very, very close match there. So Utah's going to take round number one there against Bellsworth. Oh, we lost sound. Why did we lose sound? I think that's typical. I already got him. I'm on him. You impatient.
<laughs> I'll keep my language at a minimal. Well, we did lose sound. Oh, never mind. No, it's just because the... the Man, it got super quiet. <laughs> I was like, where's the game music? Yeah, when it goes into that um, sequence, it'll be very sad. I see. And the stream is starting to lag a little bit, apparently. Yeah. It's lagging at random times, but I, that might just be your computer, uh, Fluffy. Uh, we'll see. All right, so we are getting into Blue Dome here. I love this stage. Beautifully aesthetic. Um, Ooh, force bomb. Very good. You see Bellsworth playing a little bit more cautiously here. Tries to get those frames in with the counter, but Utah really applying a lot of pressure here. He's he's being very cautious, and he's actually doing a great job of confusing Bellsworth, getting a one little hit and then going straight to the grab. I've just seen Bucky right here out of Utah right now. He's trying to play very kind of like he wants to play very mixed. Like try to confuse him to the point where he can go off. Now, he does have Burst available, which I imagine he's going to pop. You know, he gets it every turn here, or every round. Um, which he will pop right, right now. Mm -hmm. Now, Bellsworth has a Frog here. Very interesting boy. Which could definitely help here, especially with the shield, but it actually misses. Ooh. Trying to play a little bit carefully. Yeah. Bells, uh, Utah doing a fantastic job. You just see him grabbing so much this set. He's... Yep. yep. This might be it. Oh my goodness. Oh, yep. And he will definitely do that. Only problem is. Oh! This might be. Oh! oh wow! Okay, now it looks like Bellsworth is trying to just stall out the clock here. Five seconds left. He does have to be pretty careful when the counter comes out. And he does take round number one in game two here. Nice job from Bellsworth. Very, very strong gameplay coming out from him there. Yeah, that was that was what was cru that was crucial. Good e speed. I feel like the e speeds are actually no, I'm not gonna say like on point, but they've been. Yeah, they have been quite good. Uh, you know, he has done maybe not a whiff or two. Out, but he's just picking the right time for it. Yeah, uh, the stream is lagging. We will try and fix this after Bellsworth does get off of his match. But for now, please just bear with us as we experience these technical difficulties. Aside from that, you can see dominant play coming out from Utah already. Big damage, my gosh. This is definitely one of those times I feel like um, if Bellsworth can get a set, like something, you know, get a little bit of momentum, pop that support, uh, give himself a little bit of extra HP here. Ooh, whoa. Okay, this is where you pop your support. Yep, get yourself a little bit of HP back and increase your damage. And this is what I'm talking about, Rage. Lucario, this is the moment where I feel like Bellsworth is going to also pop his burst here. You know, it is final game. Technical. Oh, trying to tie it up, and that grab is going to do it, though. Alright. On to round three. Let's see how this goes. Alright, so. Now, the problem with this right now, Libre gets first way quicker, but Bellsworth is already on the <laughs> I have to give it to Bellsworth um, with those footsies right there at the start. Very, very beautiful. Dodging a lot of attacks from uh, Utah, but he read that solidly. Okay, man, that buff is still going on for that attack buff on, to, on Bellsworth. And I feel like, ooh. Yeah, that was very, very pretty. Love that Kadok. So I mean, you do see you do see a lot of the same kind of gameplay coming out from Bellsworth right now, utilizing that counter. Oh my gosh! So right now, just doing a little bit of chip damage each time. The burst is going to come out, which is going to be pretty crucial here. Oh no, this this is bad. Now this will do a lot of damage. It's definitely going to scale. Um, but this is the moment where Bellsworth has to burst. He has to get burst up. He has to get that Eevee. Um, get back a little bit of health, you know? Get as much back as he possibly can. And Eevee's going to be his saving grace here. Well, at this point, Bellsworth has the health lead, but he doesn't He really does. 14 seconds are left on the clock here. That defense debuff definitely coming in clutch. 
Game two, going to Melbourne. So you could see a lot of stalling action coming out from Utah, trying to play a Peachy, and he didn't quite... He wasn't able to quite pull it off as well as he wanted to. Nice job from Bellsworth, cutting through the cheese there, pretty much. As I said before, he's paying attention to the time. Yeah. <laughs> he's paying attention to the time. He's not going too reckless, because normally when you see people who have a lower disadvantage with the time, they will go fully aggressive. But Bellsworth, he's taking advantage of it. Mm -hmm. It really as is. As long as he takes advantage of that, he can win. So the question is, uh, Utah still thinking about trying to be... Libre here, he's, he's trying to be prideful, and I think it's going to be his downfall. It's going to hurt him a little bit. Um, you know, trying to prove that, you know, you can beat somebody without using your main, that's one thing. Uh, you still got to give him credit for, you know, sticking to Libre at the same time. So, you know, pros and cons to both. Um, Depends on, you know, how you see it, really. Yeah. I mean, you can see it from both sides. So, that's going to be a big... Um, it's gonna be a big moment here. It's a, it's a curious moment why he's sticking with it, but man! Right, you see a lot of patience coming out. Try Both people try to go for the double grab. And around the same percentages, you know, about the same for stuff. I mean, that crit is so big. It's so crucial. And you can just see Bellsworth capitalizing on so many punishes right now. Oh my gosh! Just dominant gameplay coming out from Bellsworth here. But burst is up for Utah. He will have to play pretty careful here. But gets a grab. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna whiff. Oh no. Oh, what? Oh. Very, very close. Nice job from Utah bringing that back from the brink. That early game pressure coming up from Bellsworth was so huge, but Utah getting that burst turns it around. Nice job doing a little bit of footsies, getting that grab. Oh, okay, so a nice, uh, nice try from Bellsworth to try and punish that. Uh, it's kind of difficult to, though. I think he's getting the timing wrong, or it's just not working at all. There you go. Ooh, that was close. Get out of that. Probably wanted some damage out of it, but you what? Know, getting out of it is very much out of it. So I feel like dual phase is really where Bellsworth is going to shine the most here. Um, he still doesn't have enough for burst. And you can see Utah really just going ham on him right now. Uh, now, this isn't a crit. Um, I don't think it's going to kill. Half damage, you know, roundabout, not so much. But Burst is getting very, very close for Bellsworth here. That's going to be his turning point. That's going to be his moment to catch up. But the grab's going to come out, and we'll take the set. All righty. So we're going to have Utah advancing.